Hello everyone, Burton's back in the realm and the wonderful world of Crusader Kings 2 we are continuing our playthrough as Carf. So uh, last time we finally expanded a little bit um, into this territory of Ashabad. Unfortunately we now have the mighty Empire of Yeti on our doorsteps. Um, I'm actually slightly worried about this because God Emperor Han he only has 105,000 men he can possibly call upon. So we're going to have to maintain fairly good relations. Apparently Drogon wants a dragon egg. Okay, Drogon. Fair enough. Right, so let's have a look now. So we've, um... That's fine. So we've done a recent wars. Uh, we're still waiting on the claim on our western outpost to come. And our western outpost is going to be down here. It's going to be Nath. Now hopefully we can get the claim on that fairly soon, they have been over there a little while now, yep. So it's just a case of letting that continue. Uh, in the meantime, with ourselves, our um, expansion out this way is going to stop. It's going to stop on the borders of Yutai, that is as far as we're going to go here. We might take uh, Bashabad or Shabad, um, but nowhere else. Now we can declare a war to go on the slave raid of Slam Sam Road, we're not going to. Ashabad, we can't... Oh, my wife's pregnant. Excellent. Yeah, we can try and take some of these lands. Caravana, only problem as you can see there. We get Trees Breaker, we would lose a lot of prestige, and we're not going to want to do that. We also had to give away some of our uh, some of our lands previously, um, but we've managed to keep hold of Markosh, which is one of our newer colonies here. And from there, we're going to use that to possibly expand into, I believe, Lazosh would probably be better. And just as I say that, Prince Woolen of the Thirteen has declared war against the tyranny of me. I'm tyrannical, really? So he's citing evidence of plans to have him arrested and banished. That little bastard. Right, so... Lucky for us, he doesn't have that many men at all. We can easily call up that. In fact, I believe it's these have about 4,000. Yep, there we go. We'll have you take care of it straight away. We won't do any damage to the trade post. Just get on over. And you know what? This is good. Because I get to see the people who would actually rise against us. Now, we did a little bit of uh, inter-governmental... Um, what would you say, managing of vassals before? And we were, we had a look at getting people on our side. And that appears to have worked because he's had no one else join him. It's just me versus him, which is fine. Travellers bring rumours of fire and blood. They say that Rhaegar has escaped from the dungeons and has built a lair in Calf. What's to do with this dragon? We're going to have to do something eventually. Something must be done, man. Daenerya, Master of Whispers of Marine. She is unmarried. Arrange a marriage, maybe? No, they mustn't marry an infidel. Well, that's a shame. If we could have got a dragon over here, that would have been very nice indeed. In the meantime, why do I keep forgetting to do this? Just get on the boat. Straight on over. I don't know where these guys are running to, but they're running to somewhere. You know what? I would do as well if I was them. So, so far I'm happy with the expansion as it's been going. It was a little bit slow going down in Pharos, um, and we've pretty much abandoned the plans right there. So maybe we'll go ahead and um, just use them for slave raids and things like that, try and get us a bit more cash like that, because we're a little bit light now, just 210. These colonies have cost us an awful lot, but we always knew that would be the case. So the battle has begun. Um, Salor of Kakesh against Lofo Kokeros. Nice name. And it looks like we have lost our Spymaster. What has happened to him? Ah. Fine. We have... I'll have count my words. Masterful schema. So, we can very much do with having you on the defence for now. We'll use him in the future. 35 is amazing on that. How was his wife? Oh, 50. She looks older. So perfect. We've won that. We're going to chase them all the way back. I believe they would have already taken the tray post. I 
I don't think it'll be too long before we can actually get these guys defeated. Um, grave news the Colin Day and Marcos is struggling to feed its people. I told you these were expensive and this is just another example, 150 gold just to feed them. This better be worthwhile in the end because it has cost us a fair bit of money. So it looks like winter is coming to an end, to be honest, I don't even notice it in cars. Here we go, second battle, they're already turning in the middle, Prince Wollen has turned and he is running. That drops the wall score up, they're running to select, we are going to meet them there. With no more needs for our navy, so we're just going to disband them. In the meantime, I wish a certain someone would get that claim, so we can just carry on as it is. Now, time for me to choose to educate my courtier who is a slave. Why, why would I want to educate him? Especially for these amounts of sums. I don't have the time. You'll make money for me, uh, in breeding. And although you're not going to be educated, you can still, uh, produce where it counts. Alright, so we've had a daughter. Um, wasn't really ideal, because we've already got a daughter, we could have done with a son, because our heir is our brother. Um, we are just going to call her Little Irina. Oh, and what is this? Um, we're not going to look into that, I'm not that interested. Um, so, my daughter isn't married, she's 15. We can have a look at actually doing something soon. Have we missed them? I believe we have. Uh, Salo is not the best person to be leading this, but he's going to continue. In the meantime, let's pull up some uh, additional forces. We'll take control of their uh, trade posts as well. That should help us quite a bit while we are chasing down the army. Now this is a good sign. Oh right, Zaro has arrived at my court. Pyat as a whore has died of pneumonia, so that means that someone in the Tomaline Brotherhood has uh, rose to prominence because now Hauzor is extinct. I'll tell you what, it's not going to be the only thing that's going to be extinct. Wollen, I am going to, oh, you know. I would end his line, but I don't want to be seen as too tyrannical after all. So they're running again, Cape of Skulls. And we've arrived in Calf, so we are now going to be besieged in their little trade post. And it's not going to take too much longer before this war is over, and then we can start our focus again. Ooh. There we go, so we're on 86%, won't be too much longer. So what's happening now? So, let's have a look at Markosh. Markosh is currently in famine, unfortunately, and still in the uh, colony stages. We've already sent over... Um... Oh, you're in overseas province, why did I do that? Plots. Oh, that'll be right. Could no longer improve, that's fine. Yeah, so we've already done that, we're keeping an eye on it. Hopefully it won't be uh it won't take an age for this to uh, come to fruition. Right now, it's it's looking like it's going okay. I would have preferred it to be uh finished off a lot sooner than this though. We do have people there to try and speed things up. Um There we go, so we've got the Lord Treasurer over there. And that's it, it's over. So Wollen, we'll offer you peace. You're totally beaten. So what would be done with you? Should we offer him a bit of mercy? You do have children, Wollen. So what about your wife? Have we also imprisoned her? No, someone else has. So what is this worth to you, Wollen? In fact, he wasn't even in our jail, was he? That's a very good point. Let's have a look. No. Well, you know what, Willem? I am quite happy to leave you where you are. Let's leave you rotting. Um, so it is Lord Zaro of Matstar who has him. 
So where is that master? There we go. No, I mean, that's fine. I'm happy with that. You can look after him for now. Yes, here we go. My liege, my working now seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening and forging documents, I have managed to fabricate a claim. Now we are most definitely going to use that. It's going to cost us a lot. A lot of prestige and a lot of gold. But it's going to give us this launching point that we wanted. So let's have a quick overview of these guys here. They should be weak enough for us to, uh, to begin. It's only a little girl, three and a half thousand. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and declare that straight away. We'll offer them vassalization. we'll give them one chance. And they've said no. So foolish. So we're starting our war on there. Um, before we do that and we forget, um, I think it might be worthwhile us uh, possibly getting another claim going. So now we'll have that as a launching point, so we can branch out to the Summer Isles, we can take the Basilisk Isles, or we can be sensible, we can maybe attack from this side, hmm, I'm not sure, it's uh, it's an interesting issue to have. Now there are quite a lot of Summer Islanders, so that is going to be quite a large decision to make, it's going to be time consuming to take over all of that land indeed. We do have some pieces of land closer to home. Um, but we also have places like these, the Howling Bogs and Dallas. I don't want another colony, I'm going to ignore these for now. We don't want to be messing in the business of Young Kai and Marine because uh, Daenerys wouldn't take too kindly to that, so that is going to be avoided. So where to get the claim? Um, I think it might be worthwhile starting to work in Lazosh. Let us in fact make sure, yeah they're not allied, that's fine. We can declare war already but it's only slave raids, vassalization of course they're going to say no. So we're going to go for the first province next door. And that'll be that. Right, so it's time to get ourselves a little army together. Now they're going to have about 3000 or so, um, my preference is going to be to call up people yeah, 1,000 is fine. We'll let these guys rest a little bit because they did just do the uh, the war a moment ago. Is that overkill? You know what? I don't think it is. I think what would be overkill is if we send that. I think us three should suffice. Let's call up all the boats where we can. We may have to borrow some more from here. There we go. So seven and a half thousands, we're gonna need more. That's one good thing I like about this, we always have enough boats. Who's actually got you in prison? Alright. Ah, Court musician of Matstar. <laughs> Love it. Right, um, 35 more, there we go, that should be, uh, that should be enough. So once we get all the men on the boats, we are then going to have a look about, a more in-depth look to see who our enemy actually is. Get you guys over there, all in the centre. So she's a little girl it looks like. Um, I'll keep the information to myself, I don't want to get embroiled in that. So it's Princess Philatia of Nath. Now, uh, Narf are gods of harmony, so the summer gods. So they believe only in one god, the Lord of Harmony, who is attended by butterfly women, and who created the moon, the stars, the earth, and all creatures that dwell upon them. Sacred uh, butterfly spirits are said to protect Narf from all those who would do them harm. So, that bodes well for us, it looks like we're off to fight some uh, magical butterflies. Yeah. I call bullshit. Right, let's go on. Um, I've not bothered to actually put my army in any particular sort of formation with cavalry or what have you. Oh, Viserion has escaped from the dungeons of the Nara of Marine and has built a lair in Marine. Okay. Looks like they get some dragon trouble, which is why I'm kind of glad that we're heading over this way 
rather than sticking our nose into dragon business. Having a dragon would be nice, but there's not much chance of us doing that ever, because uh, yeah, we just don't have it in us, it's not in our blood, which is understandable. So here we go, there was an actual a load of ships there, did you see that? So where are they going? They've left 3000, so let's jump straight in and we'll see what we end up with. We'll have to keep an eye on our homeland in a minute, because I'm um, 400 plus ships, that was interesting. So and it's begun. So there we go, they're turning tail already in the wing, our centre has collapsed, they're pressing with a shield wall. I've gained the trait pounds, okay. Let's finish these guys off please. So I'm on the flank of course, and there we go, we've pushed it, that is good, I like that. So it's time for me to educate another slave, no it's not, I have not the time. So there we go, so we've got 10,000 men in Narf right now. Where have these other ships gone? Nowhere. Hmm. Well, you know what, let's keep our eye on the prize then. So, in Narf, what have we got? So we've got the county capital, fort level of 8, just over 1,000 men, or 1,200 men defending it, their morale is dropping quite quickly. Um, and then we've also got a temple, and we've got a city as well. The city's not too powerful. Not a bad tax on it. Yeah, this is good. They've pulled up some more men. Whilst holding court, a group of Naginai warriors presented to you. Their leader expressed the admiration they had for you, and presented you a gift, a young Zor stallion. A striped black and white mount that Joganai ride into the plains. I thank you for this fine gift. You'll never see me coming on a Zos. Right, so it's nice. It's nice to be in power. You get nice gifts like uh, stripy horses, and it's um, it's good. I wonder what other gifts I can get in the future. It would be nice to have maybe a sword, but I'm nowhere near powerful enough in terms of uh, my martial. Although I am a skilled fighter, so you never know. I may be able to try and get something that way. The source I have acquired has been causing much trouble. Ugh. The wild stallion clearly has a lot of spent up or pent up energy and one time escapes into the herds of horses, mounting many of the mares in there. It also kits Tagiana's prize stallion to death. I clearly Clearly saw it as a rival. Now she seeks redress for her loss. Listen, okay? If if your stallion wasn't up to the task, my Zorse will take care of it. Don't worry. Um, 50 gold? 50 gold? No. I will lose 40 prestige. Oh my god, I can't afford to lose the gold though. I'm gonna have to take the hit. Sorry, love. No horse is worth 50 gold. You can buy like 12 slaves for 50 gold. So very soon Narf is gonna fall, not too much longer. And there we're gonna bring this up here. And I really need to stop saying not too much longer, it's becoming a phrase of mine. So I'm thinking, any minute now, there we go. That's much more positive. So it looks like Wallen has, uh, oh he's been ransomed. So who've we got? Oh, we've got the lady herself, let's send it to the dungeons. We'll offer you peace. There we go. It's ended. We've won. She doesn't like us though. So uh, we could try and revoke the title. But as you can see what that will do, once again we'll lose a lot of prestige. Uh, our opinion will drop and so will our opinion from our other vassals. We can't do it anyway because we're in a truce. So for now, their lands are our lands. Um, you're currently in Ashabad. We're going to leave you in Ashabad. We're not going to do anything there. However, we will send you over to. Um, should we do pacification? Yeah, we'll do pacification. Or will we? Ah, we can't. Darn it. I think that might have to do suppress revolts. 
Yeah, we'll send you there to suppress. Um, obviously, province, sorry, we'll have to send you back over. That was a silly move, but at least we've taken some more land, which is great. So the good thing about this now is, well, it's good and bad. It's one of those, it's like a double-edged blade here. So we're going to get everyone back on the ships. We do have the land over here now, but we have a ruler who hates us. We could arrange a marriage, or we could arrange to have her killed. The daughter doesn't like me too much either. My hope is these guys will revolt. It will give me an excuse to strip the land from them, and then we'll just take things from there. In fact, do I have the option? Um, no, we don't. Okay, well that's it for now. That is uh, another bit of land added to the Carthian Empire. Join us next time for the next episode. Um, you guys know what to do. Raise those thumbs.